whatever skateboard careers or whatever you want to call it, they kind of ebb and flow, you, you know, and you, you get some momentum and then you kind of like, okay, I did this. And, and some people would like, would lay back and, and kind of take it easy for a minute. And like, that wasn't his trip. It, it was fucking go, always go, uh, you know, and constantly fucking what, whatever came in my path, I am going to decimate it. I mean, he would talk to adults like he was an adult when he was 12, you know? And like, I remember being a kid and the way he talked to adults, adults would listen and look and kind of be startled by the way he was talking to them. You know? Seriously confident. He will fucking work for a trick. He doesn't give up. But the way Cardiel is as a person, the descendant of Western people, we had to come across the plains. That's why people are like that. They're fucking hardy. They don't, they don't give up. Just even being around him, you, you got that. You got the energy, like you got his energy. You know, he fires you up. Just watching old videos and shit, you're like, that's the, that's the guy right there. I mean, going Mach 10, looking sketch, but in control, you're like, all right, this shit gets revved up, you know? There was this bank at the park in my neighborhood that was uh, maybe a foot tall, but an asphalt bank that I swore was that bank. And all I would do when I first started skating is just push, 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 and roll down that bank and ah. He's uh, so electric, man, like the way he, ro he rolled around and did anything, you know, it was just so much energy. You, you watch him do that first one and he's fucking going as high as he fucking can, hangs up, ah! fucking slaps the floor, ah! and then the next clip he's fucking going just as high, fucking doing the same thing. Knowing in his brain that he just fucking hung up and got rung beyond, and he's fucking back more. Fucking a maniac. Just ha ha ha, and just wiry as fuck, and just snap. And if he didn't make it, he would eat. Oh my god, he would. Most people wouldn't fucking stand up and walk back up and do it again. Motherfucker, he'd get more mad and scream. Like just being around that stoke. Yeah. You're just like, ah, fuck, fuck, John's getting some, like, I want to get some, I want to fucking get some too. Just like over, over a head high drop into like six, seven foot transition and he'd land in there and just like zing out and people would just go, ah gets up right away and it's like, did that like a few times. It's like, holy shit. Oh, it was impressive, man. Just to see that, all that energy. I mean, you guys know this, but I guess I have to say it because it's for the theme. But uh, it's his drive, right? It's just pure, pure drive. You know, just his fucking straight up will to fucking want it. Johnny! List maybe your top few photos, your, your, you and John, stuff that you guys did. One was uh, the sequence of the back three over the, is it Brookings? Brookings? The pool? we pretty much drove up there, skated it, hung out for a second, and then dipped. And he got that. Something he wanted to do, and I think we were on a deadline for something, and he just handled it. So you guys went up there expressly for that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Holy shit. He got a, he got a speeding ticket on the way up there, too. Of course he did. 
This was the first trip I went on with him and fucking we're driving out of San Francisco. We ended up in Utah. I mean, it had been fucking raining and it was tore up and fucking John just grabbed, I think it was Gabe's cruiser board and just fucking started skating the thing like an animal. And he's just fucking rolling into it with puddles on the ground and everything. Like, just try the jump. Just try the fucking jump to jump. And he fucking rolls at it and he fucking splatters on the flat ground, you know? He just gets taken out by the fucking G-forces and the puddles and the wet masonite. He just fucking splats. And he just, you know, he just, fuck it, I'll do it again, you know? It's just, that's him, you know? And that was the cover of Thrasher, the indie nose bone over the three barrels. I mean, that was the most raw fucking, I don't give a fuck kind of shit I've ever seen. You know, for all the spontaneous stuff that these guys do, it's like he could pull the trigger when he needed to pull the trigger and it wasn't just like, you could go with the vibe or handle business. I mean, the photos I like are because of that effort and just the balls to the wall that he brought to the session, like uh, the front board down the rail in Sacramento. Wanted to do it, needed wood to get to, through the grass runway and had wood, planted it and just handled it as fast as you could possibly go. Anti hero? Yeah. Uh, we talked about it before we started it for sure. Um, but the opportunity came about through Deluxe. It was brought to me. And then I went to John and we talked about it. And we had like some pretty intense sit downs over it before we did anything, like with his mom and shit. She did all this numerology on the name and it was pretty neat. She like set up a little roadmap, like, you guys need to look out for these things as you go. He really wanted her opinion whether this was like a good move for him or not, or for us in general. And we got her blessing somehow. And it was bad because anywhere you went, when John skated, it was like, Dude, we got firepower, dude. I was like, what's up, motherfuckers? Like, dude, we got it. And it was just like, dude, that just kept you going. The dude just does not fuck around. Every time John stepped on a skateboard, he pushed himself beyond what he could do. And he had the ability to push others beyond what they could do. He looks aggro as fuck, and he still can fucking get some. Who cares if it's on a skateboard, a bicycle, whatever it is. He's fucking still like pushing himself, you know, as far and as hard as he can. And he's out there doing it. I mean, you're talking about like a higher, operating on a higher plane, you know, like to send that message out into skateboarding, like, hey man, like you can, you know, you can overcome and like to, to have the sheer will and determination to come back like that, you know? And like, the, I'm John Cardiel, I am. Like, here's my stamp, bam. Check it out, people. Like, it's fucking so goddamn heavy. And I think that's one of the things that resonates really heavily with, with all of skateboarding. <laughs> what how what huh 
you're confused, you're alone, it's Saturday night, you have no pants on, click here to watch more Love Letters to Skateboarding.